Hey, what's going on guys? Mess with Reverts here, and uh, today I'm going to be showcasing some of the weapons that I've acquired through the black market in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So, we're going to jump straight into this here with the SMGs, and of course the only SMG available in the black market right now is the HG40. It's a remake of the MP40, of course, and uh, overall it's a pretty good weapon I hear post-patch, but I really haven't had the time to use this gun a lot in multiplayer because I've been playing a lot of arena matches and game battles matches too, so uh, the HG40 is banned, of course, in CWL, so I don't really have the time to use this gun, but... But when I do a multiplayer, I'm going to be uh, grinding this gun a lot. I hear it's a pretty good weapon post-patch again, so I can't wait to use that. And moving on to the ARs, we have the uh, MX Garand, the FFAR, and the Peacekeeper. Uh, the FFAR and the Peacekeeper are two really solid guns from the black market. I'm pretty glad that I have both of them. Uh, the FFAR is a remake of the FAMAS from Black Ops 1. And of course, the Peacekeeper Mark II is basically a remake of the Black Ops 2 Peacekeeper. And the MX Garand is a remake of the M1 Garand from uh, World of War. So, uh, yeah, I forgot to mention that the HG40 is also a remake of the MP40 from uh, World of War 2, so there's a lot of remakes in Black Ops 3 from the uh, Black Market Weapon List, so uh, you guys can uh, take that the way y'all want. Uh, next up here into the shotguns, we have the Banshee. The Banshee is a pretty fun weapon to use. It's not really uh, the best weapon to use in multiplayer, but it's still pretty fun to use. Um, I haven't used this gun ever since I got it in, in multiplayer, so the Banshee is also really fun, like I said, but I haven't had the time to use this gun a lot. And then next up, we have the R70 Ajax. You guys might have seen me uh, unbox this in a supply drop opening, so uh, the Ajax is a really fun gun to use you never have to reload it but of course there are some drawbacks one of them being that you can't really run as fast of course because it's a LMG but it's still a really fun gun to use it's great to uh, set up with so yeah I do have the R70 Ajax and now for the sniper rifles this is the only one that I don't have the DBSR 50 the remake of the DSR from Black Ops 2 well not really a remake but it's uh it still has the same name I guess but I do have the introduction I actually got this gun uh, I think like twice already in supply drop so that kind of sucks because I know one of my friends is uh, dying to get this gun. I've also had the Banshee twice and I believe the FFAR like two or three times as well so that kind of sucks there but um, yeah th those are the only weapons that I've had duplicates of. And now moving on to the pistols I do have the Marshall 16s believe it or not I've also had the Marshall 16 like three, two or three times actually so uh, it kind of sucks that I can't really give these weapons away to other people that don't have them and I do wish that I could uh, redeem these for like a lot more crypto keys because you don't really get a lot if you do have a, a, a duplicate of another weapon so that kind of sucks uh, i don't have the rift d9 that's the only pistol that i don't have um that's i think like that's the only weapon that i actually want from supply drops i don't care about the dbsr that much uh but the rift d9 i do kind of want because it is pretty cool i do have the l4 siege as well and uh as of course the uh, annex shadow claw but moving on to the melee weapons i have the butterfly knife the wrench the brass knuckles the iron gym the fury song the mvp the carver the skull splitter the slash and burn the nightbreaker the buzz cut and uh, then the prize fighters that we got from the community contract I'm missing the malice and the uh, the taser, the um, the nunchucks, the the sword and the shovel, which came from the recent DLC uh, weapon DLC from the black market. So yeah, those are the only weapons from the from the melee category that I don't have. Uh, in general, I'm missing two weapons: um, the DBSR and the Rift D9. That's pretty good considering that I spent about uh, 400 to 500 bucks on supply chips. I, I mean on uh, crypto keys. Uh, don't get me wrong; I'm not a big fan of COD points or buying supply chips, but hey, I've seen other people spend like over a thousand bucks on like a single weapon and still not get it and considering i spent roughly 500 bucks i guess i kind of lucked out but still 500 bucks for just a few weapons and a good amount of those weapons are remakes or melee weapons kind of sucks but um yeah let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments also let me know if you guys have uh, any black market weapons in your arsenal tell me which ones you have also if you guys don't mind me asking uh, how much money have you spent on uh cod points in black ops 3 tell me that down in the comments as well also drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed thank you all for watching i'm a vert have a great rest of the day till next time I'll catch you guys later.